Hi guys, it is yeah, it's Luke here, and yeah, yeah, yeah. You hear it singing in there. I don't know if you hear it, but yeah. So yes, Red Sox have won the World Series, and yeah. Hello, Josh. Josh Taylor. Hi. Yep, Josh is your own. Okay. So yeah, let me get to review about the World Series. Go back to game one, October twenty on October twenty third, two thousand thirteen. It looked like it was gonna be pretty it's like the Red Sox were gonna like sweep them in and it looked like there's not not gonna be any challenge to the Red Sox. We beat them eight to one. Eight to one. Yes, I said eight to one in game one. David Ortiz hit a two run homer, almost hit another grand slam, but oh, and then but it was robbed by Carlos Beltran. And so but he had a two run homer he made up for himself. And Holiday of course got the solo home run off of Dempster on the top of the ninth. Made it eight to one, but that really didn't matter. Lester pitched a dynamite game. Just an outstanding game. And then Wainwright just didn't just didn't have it. He gave up, gave up five runs, just never had it. Bullpen didn't support him. But, yeah, so Red Sox won 8-1 at Fenway Park in Game 1. Now, let's go to Game 2. Game 2 is Walker versus Lackey. See, Lackey was, it's like, dynamite like he always is. Then he gave up one run in the fourth. And it kind of just escalated from there. Gave a one run in the fourth. And then we scored twice in the bottom of the sixth. And so it made it two to one us. And then it just got bad. They scored three off of, I don't even know if it, I believe it was a, well, I know it had involved Matt Holiday. Sorry about that mess up. Involved Matt Holiday. They took the lead four to two. We never amounted to anything after that, and yeah, that's pretty much what happened in game two. We lost four to two. That was also at Fenway Park. So the series after two games was tied one to one. Then we went to game three in St. Louis. This was the game that everyone will remember. Cards taking the lead quickly in the bottom of the first, just quickly getting two runs, made it two nothing. And then that's when it got serious. Top of the fifth and top of the sixth, Red still scored one in each inning, made it tie two to two. And then bottom of the seventh, Cardinals scored two more. Red Sox, of course, as suit, scored two more in the top of the eighth, score tied four to four. But then we go to the bottom of the ninth where it gets interesting. As you know, Cardinals were home, so they were batting them. As, let's see, man on first and second, one out. Ground ball to Dustin Bedroya, just past the pitcher, he dives, throws it, to, throws it home. Oh, no, second and third, that's who was on. So, man on second and third instead of first and second. So, ground ball to Dustin Bedroya, throws it home, guys out at home. So, that's two outs. The man that was on second, he realized that maybe he can get third. Throws to third. Gets past Middlebrooks. I believe it was Alan Craig on third base. Alan Craig trips over Will Middlebrooks. And he gets thrown out of home plate, but the umpire calls him safe on an, on an obstruction call by Middlebrooks, and the game is over. That is the stupidest ending. I I don't I didn't even know what to think after that game. I just thought I thought we got robbed of a win. Because imagine if 
because he was he was Alan Craig was obviously out of home. Whether Middlebrooks would have, whether if he didn't trip over Middlebrooks, would he been ho at home? Yeah, safe at home? I don't think so. But yeah, so the game game three ended five to four score. Cardinals won in St. Louis on an obstruction call. Honestly, I understand there's no obstruction call rule, but it's just even if the Red Sox won by an obsession call, I, I wouldn't want to win that way because I just I felt like what the losing team would have gotten robbed of a win or robbed of a close loss or actually having an ability to stay in the game rather than getting it called an obsession call. And that was October 26, 2013. Now we go to game four, October 27th. This was a good rebound game for the Boston Red Sox. Cardinals scored early, bottom of the third, they scored one, it was, score was one nothing. That's when, top of the fifth, Sox scored one more. Or Sox scored one. And then made it tied one to one. Top of the sixth, Johnny Gomes. I, d I don't know how to, how, I don't know how to describe it more. Johnny Gomes, three run homer, absolute bomb, four to one Red Sox. Bottom of the seventh, Cardinals try to get something started, only able to score one, four to two. That's how it ends. Dubrant got the win because he came in that game after PV, I believe, was pit. No, Buckles. I believe it was Buckles. Yeah, Buckles. Came in after Buckles, gave up, was just didn't have, was only able to go through four innings. And then he came in. And pitched dynamite two innings. He just happened to be in when after Johnny Gomes hit the three run homer, he got the win. Win got the loss for St. Louis Cardinals. Uihara got his first World Series save. But now we go to Game Five. This since the series was tied two to two after four games, this is the game where it the game had to be won. This is the game where whoever won this game had only needed one more win to become world champions. So, top of the first, of course, Red Sox score, one nothing Red Sox. Bottom of the fourth is where it gets interesting. Cardinals score one, tied one to one. Top of the seventh. Red Sox luckily score two. Three to one. And that's all that Lester needed. Lester gave up one run. He he was just he's even in game one he was dynamite. Gave up he didn't even had it he didn't give up he, he didn't even give up a run. That was on a Dempster bad pitch to Matt Holiday solo home run. Didn't really hurt us. But he gives up one run. And he had a dynamite game. Adam Wainwright just didn't have it, just like he didn't have it in game one. Didn't have it in game five, and Red Sox took advantage of it. And Red Sox won three to one. So now, going to game six, Red Sox leading the series three to two. This is the game. Red Sox need to win one, need to win this game, and they would be World Series champions. This. October 30th, at night, Lackey versus Waka. Remember in Game 2, Lackey just barely got beat. Waka had an outstanding performance. And then it came to bottom of the third, still no score. Red Sox put three on the board. Bottom of the fourth, Red Sox put three more on the board. One of those was a home run from Steven Drew, who, for the whole postseason, pretty much, in, like, the last two months of the season, had the biggest drought. Everyone was like, why is Steven Drew in the lineup? What everyone said is because his defensive skills. That's what everyone said. That, that most of his defensive skills, I understand, it really mattered, but his bat just didn't do anything. But he did it then. He did it when it really mattered in Game 6 of the World Series. Hit a solo home run, making it six to one. Cardinals scored one in the top of the seventh, and then it came to Uehara trying to close it out in the top of the ninth. 
that's when I really got that we could do it. Even when we were head six nothing, I still had my doubts. You you can never be like, oh yeah, we're gonna, because in a World Series game, you're like, oh yeah, we're gonna win this. Like it's nothing, but you you can't think that. But I didn't think that, and when it when it became top of the ninth, when I saw it on the screen, it said Yuihara coming in. I was like, okay, Dad, we're gonna win this. Cause I was watching it with my dad. I'm like, we're gonna win this. And we did. And I've never been more happier in my life. I actually was at a at a college for a presentation, so I wasn't actually there. But I recorded it, and I tried. I, I'm so glad I wasn't able to hear the actual score when it was going on, because I guess when I left, it was six nothing Red Sox by then. So I was, I just didn't try to hear anything. We didn't hear anything, and then I uh, actually watched it when I got home. And I actually, and when I when it finished, it was about three thirty in the morning. I was tired, but I was I have never been happier in my life. Honestly, that was like the happiest moment of my thirteen year old life. And so yeah, Red Sox won the World Series in Game Six, six to one. Let Lackey got the win. He was he he was very good. He definitely rebounded. From game two, Waka just, we just got to him. He did good for the first two, and then just, we just got to him, and we just never stopped. So, yeah. I remember doing Red Sox news early in the season. Never thought Red Sox would be World Series champions, and I'd be doing this video. But, yeah, I'm just I gotta uh, say something hilarious. Just gotta say something? Yeah. Alright, so I have to just say one thing. So, don't move, don't go anywhere really far. I just have to say, um... I said probably one of the most funniest lines I've ever said in my 13. I'm kind of copying on him. But I actually made up this. Right when he got out, I don't know what. I, it wasn't even supposed to be a joke. I was just so happy. I said, waka, waka, walk your butt back to the dugout. That's the Josh joke of this video. It's a nice gesture. Okay, so, yeah. This is pretty much the end of the video. Yes, Red Sox World Series champions. I Finally. gotta say. Now, we, okay, that's the third time in the last nine years. But do you remember 2007? I don't remember it. Honestly, I was only seven. Seven. I was actually six. six. No, I was seven, seven at that time. You were six. I was seven. So my birthday's right before it. And Josh's birthday is right after it. So yeah, that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in our next video. Red Sox World Series Champions 2013. I'm sorry, I have to interrupt that for something on a serious note. This video and all of our videos towards Boston and Boston Red Sox go out to the lo the lives lost and the lives hurt in the Boston Marathon. We just want to say rest in peace and we're with you all the way. Boston strong. Boston strong. Forgot to mention that. I was going to. But Boston strong.